All right, you guys, today we've got a really interesting tutorial where we're going to check out how to make a live half tone here in Illustrator and basically how you can apply this on fully editable text. All right, so step number one, I'm going to go and select the type tool and type in something. For this font, I'm going to go with Humane and I'm going to select the Humane bold. By the way, my size is 640 by 500. And I'm also going to go to the swatches and choose a lighter color. And from here, we're going to go here to the 3D materials and I'm going to activate the inflate. You can also add some depth if you want. I'm also going to go with inflate both sides and I'm going to go here to the materials. Let's scroll down here. I'm going to increase the metallic and I'm going to decrease the roughness a little bit. I'm also going to go here to the lighting and here I'm going to add another light. So this way we can reposition it. I think I'm going to go with like this. So actually this is pretty good. All right, so from here, let's go here to the effects. And first we're going to go to the sketch. Now let's go and select the half tone pattern. And first let's go here to the contrast. I'm going to increase all the way up and I'm going to decrease the size. I'm going to go down more. So two is pretty good, but the size on one I think is the best. So as you can see, it is going to look something like this. I'm going to click OK. I know some people are going to say this is not vector, but check this out. If you zoom in, it's like totally pixelation. So because of that, I'm going to say it's actually vector. I'm going to select it and here you can rotate it and check this out. Now you have it in three dimensions and you can edit this live. I'm going to go to the object, maybe decrease the depth a little bit more and check this out. It is going to update the half tone live, which is pretty impressive. So I'm going to go with the X, Y, Z on zero, zero and zero. And I also going to increase the perspective and take a look at that. It updates instantly. All right. So in order to make this half tone a little bit more smoother with a little bit more details, you also can go here to the effects and let's go here to the texture and select the grain. And here we get the grain type and take a look at that. If you switch up the grain type, it is going to modify the contrast. So in my situation, I'm going to go actually with the speckle and here you can adjust the intensity and the contrast. This is going to make it a little bit more gray, but it will not do a lot. So the main point is to switch up the contrast and select the one that you like. I'm going to go with this higher contrast. I'm going to click OK and there you go. And this is how I work with vector half tones here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.